So, what's going on guys? Um, just filming an update video on the reef and uh, letting some of the viewers know how everything's going. Um, so, I have a kind of a good problem, but uh, you know, this cold coral up here when I got it was probably about the size of this little piece down here and then within six months it's grown massively and what it's doing is it's kind of overshadowing a little bit of the torch corals from getting any light um which is you know causing a problem but other than that everything is um you know okay so uh along with that uh if you notice i had an anemone here and it's no longer there and that's because it has turned into three uh, it's split apart and there are three now there are three anemones um, growing there's one there a little one it's probably really hard to see it and then there's another one growing over there but that's normal um, that's how they they reproduce um, that normally happens when things are really good or when the water is really bad but uh, in my experience uh, everything's doing good all the corals are out uh, this uh, leather right here is molting and everything in the tank is growing um, out of control I mean this is probably going to be dropping this mushroom right here is um, going to be dropping off pretty soon it's probably going to fall down into the floor on the sand bed uh, the mushrooms over here they're moving their way over here pushing the orange mushrooms back into the cave which may be a good thing because these group of mushrooms right here i'm hoping that they're going to climb under the rocks and then begin to multiply and give me some coral underneath there because um you know they don't need a lot of light but what i'm finding is you know these mushrooms they do better with a little bit more light and um but yeah um so this coral back here uh, started out as a frag that I got from Mike and um, it was about two inches maybe about that big when I first got it but now it's grown and it's turning into a full tree which is good and um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the growth that I get using no skimmer and just doing water changes and having good lights you know um, you don't have to have the best um, stuff as long as you keep up good habits and whatnot um, these uh, clove polyps back here, um, they are growing all over the rocks and hopefully it'll take over and um, start to spread all over into this area right here. Um, as for my fish, um, everybody is doing good. I haven't lost any fish. Um, I haven't really lost any coral other than um, the hammers that I had, they were over here. and. Uh, I had to move them because the hammers were attacking them. Um, the, these candy canes were underneath this leather right here. Um, they were underneath this area, so I had to pull them out. I had forgot about them, and they ended up shrinking because they weren't getting any light or any nutrition. Um, so I'm gonna have to, you know, do a little bit of a rearranging with some of the some of the corals that are in here. But these Duncans, uh, they had fell down earlier I had to pick them up and put them back in that spot because um, when you have blennies um, you know blennies like to go into little nooks and crannies of the of the rocks and they don't care if there's coral in there they'll move it out the way and kind of wedge the corals out sometimes and that's a that could be a pain in the ass but other than that I just wanted to give you guys a short update on the on the reef and kind of let you know how it's doing this makes uh, month number 15 now so a year in um well num number 14 i think so you're in you're in two months so i'll keep doing videos and let you know how this tank does um without a skimmer and um i look forward to seeing this tank uh grow in on year number two um i may be selling uh one of these uh anemones uh once they grow up and get a little bit bigger and uh maybe move out from back there i haven't decided what i'm going to do but they're really cool um they're not rose, they're actually like a quad color. The base of them is is green and then when they're you know, when they get bigger and their color and when they color up, I mean they get bright, bright red on the tips and a and a and a fierce green on the base. They're really, really cool and 
Um, I like to thank Mike for these. Uh, he sold me these anemones for this one anemone for twenty dollars, and now I have three of them, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, shout outs to Mike, and um, I appreciate all the viewers and the subscriptions and all the comments that you guys give me. And I just want to thank all the viewers. I'm coming up, and I'm getting close to hundred subscribers now, and I really appreciate that. Uh, so thank you guys for subscribing, and if you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe. You guys have a great week. Peace.